So if anybody ever tries to tell you guys that psychics are real, make sure you make them go watch James Randi videos. James Randi is the motherfucking man. He's like a logical gladiator that's been traveling through history, fucking slaughtering fake-ass con men psychics where they stand, publicly humiliating them in front of everybody so everybody knows that they're lying fucks that they are. And it's a beautiful and amazing thing. So today, I thought I would share some of his handiwork with you guys. First off is Uri Geller. This motherfucker was everywhere back in the 70s and 80s. He was in all the magazines. Here's James Lipton giving him the celebrity rub. Here's Barbara Wawa giving him the celebrity rub. He was fucking all over the place, claiming that he had magical powers. One of the magical powers he had was he could fucking bend spoons by just rubbing it shit, you know? Because if the universe is going to give you magical powers, what better fucking magical power to give you than being able to bend spoons by rubbing them? It's just so fucking stupid, man. But people fell for this shit all over the place. This guy was on my fucking TV when I was a kid. And James Randi wasn't having it. James Randi was saying, that motherfucker is lying, okay? All he's doing is bit of the spoons ahead of time, and then you rub a little bit and it falls apart. That's all it is. It's a fucking cheap magician's trick. That's all that motherfucker is doing. So one day, Uri Geller went on Johnny Carson, and Johnny Carson was a bad motherfucker too. And Johnny Carson was like, I'm going to get this bitch. I know he lying. I know he ain't got no magical powers. So what we going to do is I'm going to call up James Randi ahead of time. I'll get James Randi to set up all these experiments that a psychic should be able to pass if he's really a psychic. And then we're going to fucking ambush Uri Geller with it when he comes out here. So then Uri Geller comes out there, and they fucking ambush that motherfucker. And do you think he could pass any one of those psychic tests? Oh, fuck no. He hemmed and hauled, just like you'd expect a fake to. Made up some excuse about how he wasn't feeling strong, and he was feeling like they were jumping up on him and ambushing him, and he just couldn't perform right now. Just like you would expect a fake motherfucker to do. He was humiliated on national television, and then he slunk away to the hole he cried out from under, and really nobody ever heard from Yuri Geller again. That motherfucker was gone off the face of the earth. Then, James Randi said, what else you got? So they found this fucking total dork. This guy actually went on national television looking like this. So I think it's pretty fair that I call him a fucking dork. With a little bowl haircut, a cheesy mustache. He's fucking wearing a karate uniform that his grandmother ordered from him from China for his birthday. It's just fucking sad, man. And he's claiming that he has psychic powers. He's claiming he's fucking magical on national television. And James Randi's calling bullshit right off the bat. James Randi noticed this motherfucker ain't got no magical powers. And James Randi was like, crack, are you lying? What the fuck can you do? And the guy's like, uh, I can put this pencil around the edge of the table and I can move it with my mind, see? And James Randi's like, you dumbass, you ain't moving shit with your mind. Obviously, if you put a pencil around the edge of a table like that, even the wind currents from the room or a little puff of air from my breath will fucking move it. I mean, that's not magic. And then that dorky motherfucker's like, uh, well, I can also move phone book pages with my mind. And James Randi's like, prove it, motherfucker! So he opens a phone book up, and then he, like, moves the pages with his mind, but he's obviously fucking blowing on it. That's all he's fucking doing. It's a cheap magician's trick. And James Randi's like, motherfucker, I'm so on to you. I'm going to embarrass you so bad. I don't know why the fuck you came out here and decided to do this. You so stupid. So James Randi puts these styrofoam peanuts all over the place because he knows the guy's blowing on it, and he's like, do it again. But the guy can't do it because if he does it, then he'll blow the peanuts everywhere, and the gig will be up. So he's like, I can't do it anymore because the peanuts are making static electricity and shit. But then he shows very well that they're not. He actually moves the page just fine. Then they had these three judges judge him to see if he had psychic powers, and they're like, dude, come on, really? You ain't got no fucking psychic powers. This is embarrassing. I mean, look at us. We're three of the dorkiest motherfuckers on the planet. But even we think you're a fucking dork. I mean, what were you thinking, man? Get the fuck out of our face, and may God have mercy on your soul. And then James Randi was like, are you not entertained? Bring me more. And so they brought even more psychics to this motherfucker. Like this dude, who was actually hired by mining companies to find a specific kind of ore. They actually hire people like this with real money and everything in modern times, man. It's fucking almost unbelievable, but true. And he's like, uh, with this stick, I can fucking find where ore is. I mean, I know ore is under this box right here because this stick is showing me it is. And James Randi's like, crack, are you lying? That stick ain't showing you shit, man. And the guy's like, it totally is. Look at the way it moves around. And I move it over here, it doesn't move, right? But if I move it here, it moves fine. And James Randi's like, all right, prove it, motherfucker. We got like nine boxes over here. The ore's behind one of them. If it works like you say it does, you should be able to find this ore no problem. The guy's like, I'm on it. And so he goes and he starts shaking his little stupid stick in front of his dick. And box one, box two, box three, box four. And spoiler alert, it's under box two. But that motherfucker don't know that because that stick don't work. And finally he gets to one. And he's like, I think it's under this one. And James Randi shows him. He's like, nope, you was wrong. Try again, hoss. So he tries again. I think it's under this one. Nope, you was wrong again. 
you just a lying bitch, man. You just a lying bitch. That's really all there is to it. You don't have any psychic powers that allows you to find aura under boxes. So just quit while you ahead because you are embarrassing yourself. I can't understand why anybody would pay you ever again after this. I don't know why you came on national television and did this to yourself. You's a dumb motherfucker. That's all I can say. You's a dumb motherfucker. So then James Randi pretty much publicly humiliates that guy, embarrasses him more than anybody has ever done in his entire life, making him potentially suicidal. And then Jay is like, who's next, man? What psychic throat can I wrap my hands around and squeeze next? And so they bring in this dude who claims he's an aura reader. He can see people's auras. So James Randi's like, okay, I got five people behind these curtains over here. You're telling me you can see all their auras behind these curtains? And he's like, totally, I can totally see those motherfuckers' auras. And James Randi's like, dude, you're fucking lying, man. You do not see those people's auras. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? People are going to see this. People that know you are going to see this. So they're going to see that you're a fucking fraud, man. You on national television was a fraud. That's just embarrassing, dude. But the dude persists. He's like, I can totally see their auras behind the fucking curtains. So James Randi's like, all right, I'll bring them around one at a time and have them stand in front of the place that you think they came from. So they all come around one at a time. And, of course, he gets most of them wrong. He doesn't do better than fucking Chance. I mean, Chance says you get a couple of them right, but mostly he gets them wrong, showing that he can't fucking see auras at all. It's just a bunch of horse shit. So then James Randi pretty much totally humiliates this guy, too. Shows the world what a fucking lying fake he is and makes him slink all back in his little hole. And then James Randi's like, come on, give me a bigger fucking challenge than this. What's next? So then they bring out an astrologer, somebody that pretends they can read horoscopes and they can accurately predict things that are going to happen in people's lives by when they were born. So they have him do a write-up of one particular person in the audience's horoscope. They don't tell him who it is. and They have him read it for everybody. And then suddenly, fucking House is there. And it turns out it was House's horoscope the guy was reading the whole time. And House is going to humiliate this guy on national television for our viewing pleasure. And House is like, nope, that don't sound like me, dude. Nope. That's a horrible horoscope. You didn't get anything right. You suck at this. And House totally embarrasses the dude on national television. And James Randi just repeats this over and over and over again, destroying psychic after psychic after psychic. If there were any of them out there, they would have taken him up by now on his million dollar offer. They would have won a million dollars. But there's no psychics out there who actually have psychic powers. It's been proven again and again and again. So don't let anybody try to tell you this bullshit. If your friends are visiting psychics, make fun of them. Show them James Randi's videos. Show them that this shit has been proven false over and over and over again. There's nothing supernatural. Everything is part of the natural world. And be sure you spread the legend of James Randi, one of the baddest men to ever live, and one of the gladiators of logic. Logic. When it's time to judge my soul, when it's time to pay that toll, I know that it